Today's a sad day, we're leaving beautiful Singapore, but we're gonna be investigating one of the most successful teams that you've never heard of before. Well, I'm glad I filmed all my Singapore videos on nice days. The day I leave, look at this. Wow, this is absolutely mad. But today we are going to Malaysia. We need to go to Johor Bahru and the nice lady in uh, the reception of my hotel here has just printed me this out, which is like how you get there basically. And yeah, if you've been following my Asia series, you'll know that I've not had any luggage with me, um, but it finally arrived yesterday. Um, it never got on my flight, my connecting flight. Um, but yeah, I do have it now, but I've ended up buying a load of clothes anyway, hence why I have this incredible football shirt on. And um, yeah, it's a little bit of a clue as to where we may also be going in the Asia series. But um, yeah, I need to somehow make my way across the Malaysian border today, but something tells me it's not gonna be the most pleasant travel day of my life. My grab driver's like a minute away, but there's no way I wanna go out there in that. My God. Oh no. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, the rain. Good. Oh, this, this got bus go to Jawa Baru. Yeah, I need to, wherever this bus is, if you can take me there, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Apparently this bus should take me to where I need to go, but God, who knows. And we go to Singapore Customs and then it comes back. Okay, okay cool, thank you. That's Singapore over there. We've just cleared customs that side and that is Malaysia. You'd think they'd be happier about visiting Jalan Wong. We've made it to Malaysia and look, I've changed my dwindling Singaporean dollar fund into Malaysian money and look how cool it is. That 50 note there. Um, but yeah, let me just show you on a map where we are right now. We are in Johor Bahru and Johor Bahru is really close to Singapore and it was quite a breeze actually just going through like the immigration process got a cool stamp in my passport but yeah on the map right now just north of Singapore Johor Bahru. I'm going to use today's sponsor to show you just how incredible JDT are Johor Darul Tazim the top team in Malaysia. They played 16 games this season in the league and they have won all 16. Since I filmed this segment, JDT have played away from home and they won again. Just look at their goals for, look at their goals against, and yes, 17 wins out of 17 games. And this is why I'm telling you, they are the greatest club you've never heard of. You can also see how successful they've been down the years. Look at all the trophies they've won. This really is an incredible app. I use it all the time. You'd have seen me use it in my two Singapore videos um, and you can download it for free. The top link in the description box, I'll also do a pinned comment please people of Malaysia if you like football in England or in Malaysia or people of Singapore if you're still watching my videos thank you um, yeah you can check your favorite team scores you can star them and get push notifications when anything happens or if you want to keep up to date with all the latest news in football look at some of the biggest stories in the world right now that I can just sit here in Malaysia and read on this fantastic app completely free really supports my channel if you can download it from that link they'll know it's come from my video and they'll be really happy with me and with you too thank you so much. That is my view for the next two days. We are on the 17th floor here in my hotel and we're not really in the center right now. There's a reason why I picked this hotel and I'll overlay a clip on screen right now um, from a window just down the corridor. It is quite close to the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium, um, which is the home of JDT. And I know that I've said a few times in this video, these are the most successful team you've never heard of. That's gonna be the title of this video. Um, and that's mainly for obviously the people who are regular viewers of my channel who are from Europe or England, Scotland, that kind of area of the world and I've got a few from America, Australia and stuff so the locals obviously, people from Singapore and Malaysia who have watched my videos recently will have known about JDT for a long time but um, for the most part um, they're quite an unknown football team the world over but they are obviously very successful. But yeah here is my hotel room anyway, very spacious and then we have the bathroom here too. There's me and my new Thailand um, BG Petham United shirt. What a shirt that is. Um, but yeah, how much was this hotel? It was 30 pounds a night. Wow, look at the views out there. It's now the next day and we're meeting up with somebody today and we're gonna have a full day of JDT fun. We're gonna check out the stadium. We are going to buy some football shirts, make our A football shirt, check out their merch store. Um, show you how much that costs in Malaysia. 
for football shirts and that kind of thing. And we are gonna go and see them play, kind of, later on. It should be a really, really fun day. We're gonna learn all about the club and um, meet one of their biggest fans. Chad. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for picking me up. Firstly, you have your shirt on. Your name is CEO on tour on YouTube, yeah, yeah? yeah so everyone yeah. can check yes, you out. That's right, right. You are a JDT supporter. Yes, I am. Tell me about the football club. So, uh, JDT Football Club is uh, actually founded on 1955. Uh, that time uh, it's called uh, Johor Football Association. Okay. Uh, and then on the 2000 and the 2013. Uh, the football, the football association is uh, rebranding, re yep. uh, re revolutionized. Yep. Then uh, they're using the name JDT, Johor yes. Darul Tazim Football Club. And uh, so, but the JDT Football Club uh, achievement. As for now, uh, we are. Uh, we will achieve a 10 consecutive league champions. Yes. Yeah. So you've won the last nine, and if you win the league this year, that's 10 in yeah, a row. Yeah, 10 has in that, a row, yeah. Has that ever been done in Malaysia before? No. Never been done? Yes. In Scotland, where I live, yep. Celtic and Rangers, they've both won nine in a row, yep. but they never have won 10 in a row. So? There's a curse. No one ever gets 10, but seriously? JDT are going to get 10, yeah? Yeah. This season. It's the first time ever uh, occurs in the um, Malaysia Football League. Do you get a lot of fans at the JDT games then? Yeah, uh, not so, not much like you. Uh, so the stadium is named after the Sultan of. The, uh, named after the Sultan. Is that just the Sultan of this area or the whole country? Wow. Uh, no, just for Johor State. Okay, and they've got a picture of him in my hotel. Ah, uh, yep. They got a picture right. of him in my hotel, and the stadium's Every named after him. Must have the Oh, okay, yep. cool. So the stadium's named after him, yes. but it's not him who owns the club, is it? Yep. It's his it's, son. Yes. Okay. It's Royal Highness Tunku Ismail. So I made a video uh, a few years ago called my football bucket list where I had five stadiums that I've always wanted to visit. Dortmund, Dortmund Bayern okay. Munich, Boca Juniors, Ooh. Aberdeen. Wow. I, I've not seen them all yet. I've, I've only been to Dortmund, I've been to Aberdeen, I don't think I've, I've not been to Boca Juniors. I think they were the ones, but JDT was one I wanted to see as well. Wow, seriously? Yeah man, 100%. This is so cool. So biggest stadium in... Malaysia or best stadium in Malaysia? Uh, Maybe not the biggest, but the best. The, uh, not the biggest, but the best. What shop is this then? This is for the ultras, right? Yeah, some. Like the supporters but group? They, they, they don't call themselves. Uh, 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 just a uh, community fence, just a, a community fence. Yes, okay. Right. That is the owner, yeah? Yeah. That's, that's right. the Sultan's son. Uh, His Royal Highness Tunku Ismail. Cool, and he owns the club and yes. he's helped to build the club up to what they yeah. are now. That's right. AFC Cup, what is that? Is that Europa League? No, the second tier of the Asia... So it's like the Europa League yes. and... Oh, so you've won... Uh, well, we've been won once. Yeah, and that was 2015, yeah? Yes. Oh, so you've won like the Europa League of Asia? Yeah. And you've won obviously yeah. 10 consecutive titles now. Yes. That says six there, but that was four years ago? Yes. Wow. Right, we're waiting for our lunch. We're going to have lunch here in the restaurant next to the stadium, within the stadium. What is the atmosphere like here? We can't necessarily go inside today, so I'm going to overlay some pictures on screen and stuff. What is it like to come to a game here? Usually, the uh, the atmosphere for me is very energetic. It's, for me, it's quite fun in every match uh, because, yeah, as you know, 
uh, in Malaysia, JDT is uh, have one of the most best fans. Yeah. Uh, uh, the average attendance uh, in every match uh, around 10 to 15,000. That's quite good for Malaysia, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. actually quite good. It is still the best in Malaysia wow. for the average attendance. And the capacity of this stadium though is 40,000. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, if uh, uh, for the hot game, yeah. uh, like uh, JDT versus the rival team, uh, uh, the attendance uh, can get more than 30,000. Wow, okay, nice. One day I'll come for one of those games. Yeah, of course, man. You, you, you should experience it. Brother. Definitely, one day. At least we can see in these bits here. We can actually see in, but they don't do a stadium tour, do they? Yeah. They, they should. If there anyone from JDT is watching, they should begin a stadium tour. Then tourists can come and pay and we can look inside the yeah. stadium. They should do that actually. Yeah. Because many tourists came here. Yeah, a lot of tourists come yeah, to see the best tourists. best most successful football team in the world. I wanna go inside the stadium. <laughs> so mate, where are we now? So right now we are at Topen, Topen Shopping Mall. And firstly, look, <laughs> Sports Direct. Yeah. You know who owns Sports Direct as well? Yeah, it's Mike, Mike Ashley, right? Mike Ashley. It's you have Sports Direct in Malaysia? Here. Amazing, we yeah. We have one. And But what are we going to be doing here just now then? Uh, uh, we will go to the JDT event where yep. uh, at the event we, we will get some JDT merchandise. Yes. Frozen cheese toast. Have you ever had that before? I also heard. No? Never heard of that. Never heard of frozen cheese toast before. Wow, that's really look at the badge. Nice. Oh, is it like that on the other one as well? Yeah. On the home shirt? Yeah. Oh, so that's the home shirt there. Yeah. This is home. This is home. This is home. Oh wait, wow, they're both really nice. Right, I'm gonna definitely buy one, but before we do, can you show me the shirts in here first? There's another football shirt shop right now. I want to see all the football shirts that you can get in Malaysia. This is a Malaysian national team. That's Malaysian national team shirt, yeah. And you were telling me, interestingly, about the Malaysian national team. Okay. What have you just told me about them this coming year, 2024? What have they done? Okay. Uh, Malaysia have qualified for the Asia Cup after 42 years. So that's their so first... It's a big moment for us. That's like the Euros of Asia. Yeah. You've just qualified for 42 yeah. years, wow. After 42 years, then we qualify based Amazing. on merit. And there's the uh, rugby, rugby union. union. What else do we have? We've got all the European teams here. Yeah. Any Malaysian clubs in here or just Europeans, do you reckon? Porto, Marseille, AC Milan. Oh yeah, that's Terengganu. And also Sabah here. Oh, so they're in the Premier, yeah. uh, they're in the Superliga as well? Yeah. And are these, uh, these uh, Malaysian as well? Yeah, Terengganu as well. I think it's not an away JC, it's like... Training top or yeah, something? Yeah, training top. Okay, right. So they are other Malaysian shirts there. 299 ringgit is 300 ringgit, 50 pounds. Right, we've got to try one on. bought too many football shirts on this trip that's three already um, I'm gonna have to do a little roundup sort of video after this after this about like all the football shirts you can get I've got plans to get more I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now absolutely loving my JDT shirt look at it the red and the blue what other teams playing red and blue I feel like I'm in the palace of Malaysia right now or Barcelona maybe um, but Chad has just stopped off to go and do his prayer um, very Islamic country is Malaysia I'll show you their flag the um, the crescent moon and the star obviously big symbol of Islam and look at the sky the color of the sky is blue and is red 
just like the shirt of JDT. It's absolutely meant to be that I'm here. What a place, honestly. I have been meaning to come to this place for years. I've always wanted to come to see JDT, even just seeing the stadium from the outside today, buying the shirt, taking in some of the culture of the area. We're gonna go and see them play futsal in just a second, but um, yeah, what a day, what a place. Right, Watford and Sheffield Wednesday fans, look who this is, Fernando Forestieri. He was obviously born in Argentina, he's 33 now, winger, five for eight. Played for Genoa, Malaga, Empoli, Watford, Sheffield Wednesday, Udinese as well, of course. And now he plays for Johor Darul Tazim. This is the indoor stadium, yeah? Yeah, of course. And the JDT futsal team, are they as good and successful as the main men's team? Uh, one of the best team uh, in this season. But uh, for your information, JDT futsal team is just this year. Yeah, so this they're brand new. The, yeah, the brand new team. We've had the national anthem, we've had a prayer and kick off in my first ever futsal match. And the aggregate score, if you can see that out there, is currently 12 0 to JDT. So, unless Saba FA can come back with a 13 goal swing today, pretty sure the, uh, the safe money is on JDT to go through today to the semi finals. And maybe that's why it's a little bit quiet in here. My name is Faye. Yep. You can call me Kai. I'm a pretty big fan, but I just started to follow JDT two years ago. Okay. And what makes JDT so successful? I've spoken about all the trophies that they've won. The men's main football team are on 10 in a row, and the futsal team seem to be doing well as well. What, why I are they so good? The professionalism. Because at Malaysia, we do not have the culture of having a club okay. that develops players to play. We, we got the football association that's based on their country yep. or the country. Uh, yeah. And is Malaysian football in a good place right now? You've qualified for the first Asian Cup, Cup for a long time. Yeah. I think it's getting there but I still think there's some some progress to be made. Yep. And do um, Malaysian people watch a lot of European football then? Yeah, I think pretty much uh, people like my age, football fans will watch Premier League or yep. the European League, Champions League. And who's some of your favourite teams in Europe then? Uh, favourite teams, favourite players? I think Barca, then Messi. For me. Barca and Messi? Yeah. And how about in England or maybe Scotland as in well? In England, do you... I think right now the best team to watch is Brighton. Brighton, yeah. yeah. And yeah. my favourite was McAllister and Mitoma. One nil JDT. <laughs> What's this? Is this a penalty? Is this a free kick? Or what, what would you call it? It's like an indirect free kick. Ah, yeah. Oh, what a finish, lad. I think that's 4 0 now. Half time. 17 nil on aggregate. Do you think they can score 18 in the second half and come back? No. Come back. Do you think they'll score one? I think. You think they'll score one? Do you think they'll score? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. So this is our favourite player here, number six. He's from Thailand. And what was his name again? Tanatu. Tanatu. There he is. He's just committed a foul, but he's the best player. He's been the best all game, hasn't he? He's unreal. So end to end, look at this. Frantic. Shoot. Oh. And at the other end. Corn, score a goal, Saba. Corn, son. Oh. Keep us out now. What is this? Now keep it. Shoot. Oh. 
This sport is crazy. <laughs> the Scottish League Cup starts today. Do you know any of these teams? Uh, I know Dundee. Yeah. Hamilton Academical. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then Rose County. And there, you uh, know them. We were talking about them. Yeah. Yeah. Kilmarnock also no. Kilmarnock, yeah. Uh, Motherwell. Motherwell, yeah. Anyone else? Saint Mirren. Saint Mirren. Ah, that's all. Who's your favourite Scottish team if you had to pick one? Uh, Celtic. Celtic. <laughs> It's a penalty, no, right? No, 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 no. That's a penalty, penalty surely. I think it's the same, same distance. Like the football one, right? Name me one person you know who's ever come to Malaysia to watch futsal and has checked the Kelty Heart scores. <laughs> right, so the score is 21-0. 29. 20-0? 21 Have you ever seen a score of a... Put so much go to 21 0. Yeah, I think it's that, that's normal. Okay, <laughs> that's normal. it's JDT. Yeah. Although they're the best in football, they must be the best in futsal as well, right? Do they spend a lot of money on players in futsal? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> We're going to finish the day off with some proper Malaysian food, but can you tell me about before the success, before the revolution, how many people would go to the football games? How many people? It's just around one, 100 to 200, wow. the average attendance. And now it's 15,000 some games? Yeah, because yeah, back back before 2013, the Johor football scene is at the worst. Right, yeah. But right. now it's improved. And how would you yes. say having a good football team has improved the entire area of Johor? The owner of the JDT, yeah. They're educating people yeah. how to improve, how to manage the football club properly. Yeah. Yeah. And then they... That will help everybody in Malaysia, every football team, yeah? Yes, actually. But yeah, sometimes uh, the problem is the other teams still cannot improve themselves. They don't want to improve themselves, which is not good for JDT actually because, yeah, uh, it will be under underless in the uh, Malaysia League. Because, right. Yeah. And uh, just like Bayern in the Bundesliga, right? They win it every year. Yeah. Saya, CEO on tour, fans of Putty Adventures, Malaysia fans, penyokong penyokong Malaysia semua, jangan lupa untuk subscribe YouTube channel Putty Adventures. Putty Adventures, please support Putty Adventures. All right. And CEO on tour as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Best thing about jet lag is that I can edit into the night and um, I don't even really feel that tired. I've got to get up for a flight early in the morning. Um, I'm going to my first ever proper Malaysian football match tomorrow. Obviously saw some futsal today and investigated JDT. Genuinely, just even being here is bucket list stuff. I wish JDT, if you're listening, do a stadium tour. There'll be loads of people, um, maybe not too many Westerners that come here, but I'm sure there's locals or people from Malaysia, and probably some Westerners that come, and maybe people from Singapore, tourists, who want to come and visit your stadium. So a stadium tour would be amazing, especially next time I come, I'm gonna have to see them play as well. Um, yeah, what a cool club, bucket list stuff to even just be here, like I say. CEO on tour, what a legend. Go and check it out his channel as well. Um, and and please do remember to download FOTMOB. I use FOTMOB all the time for checking scores, seeing what games are on, looking at the football news. So if you are looking for a new football app, it's completely free, like I say. Use that link, they'll know it's come from my video. They'll really appreciate it, so will I. Um, so yeah, a huge thank you for that. JDT, what a cool club. Um, although the more I think about it, although they are fantastic and they have amazing infrastructure here and they're um, making new records for Malaysian football, I guess for the other teams in the league, it must be a bit boring seeing the same team win the league. I live in Scotland, Celtic have won, what, 11 of the last 
12, is that right? I think it might be. Bayern have won, what, 10 in Germany. Um, Man City are on however many out of how, you know, Man City are just running away with it in England at the moment as well. So, um, yeah, I think leagues are better when they're more competitive, obviously, but hopefully other teams in, in uh, Malaysia um, can start to improve and get close to the levels that JDT are at right now because they are making waves in Asian football right now. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute dream to be here. Thank you, FopMob, for supporting me. Thank you, everybody, for whoever's been watching for as long as you've been watching from my early Scotland days or my other Asia days when I first came to Asia to do videos or if you've been more recently in England or anywhere around Europe, a huge thank you. I couldn't do what I do without you. I will leave some videos on screen. I will leave one from Asia and I will leave one from Europe as well. If you're from Asia, check out my European stuff. If you're from Europe, check out more Asian videos if you haven't already. Thank you so much and goodbye.